let's try to remember what we did. Um, first, we'll talk about the textbook and see if we can remember kind of what we were talking about last week. Yeah. Um, what do you remember? Do you remember um, anything? In our that? textbook? Mm -hmm. mm, well, first of all, we talked about American Civil War, which was about the North and the South. Like North used to be uh, in concentrating in industrial things, but mm -hmm. South was concentrating on our all Greek culture like plantation. So South had 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 free uh, had allowed slavery, but North was in illegal legal for slavery because they thought that it was wrong. Right. Well, that's yeah. That's what the that's a good part of what the war was about. Very nice. That was a great summary. What about in our on our Thursday classes? What were we uh, reading about last? We, uh, I think we were last on that. You know the Scarlet and her sister tried mm -hmm. to escape from the aisle to go to to meet the mysterious traveler and but they failed because their father caught them so his father tried it to find who did it first but but you you know both of them lied mm -hmm. to each other so lied. so but however her sister her sister got punished very a lot yeah and it sounds, they seem like they have a mean father. So yeah. that's part of why they're running away. And what do we think is going to happen next? Mm, do you maybe. think they'll manage, will they choose to run away or are they going to stay I home? I think they will beat? choose to run away. I think so too. And do you think they'll make it or do you think they're going to get caught? Yeah, I think I, I think I think they will make it because maybe to make it as a secret, I think they might go out at night or yeah, midnight. That's true. Um, and they're trying, they're trying to find that traveling festival, right? Yeah. Go to the magical festival. So yeah. hopefully they're going to find it because I want to know when. Good. All right. Well, I think that's great. So let's move on and we can start on page 22 and we'll do the reading and then we'll see if we have time for a few of the questions afterward. Yes. Okay. In 1860, every, uh, Abraham. Abraham Lincoln was elected president. He was a strong opponent, opponent of slavery. So mm -hmm. several southern states, including South Carolina, Carolina. Uh, Carolina, Mississippi, and Texas, seceded from the Union. Eventually, 11 south southern states seceded. The word Union describes the group of states that made up the United States at that time. In 1861, 11 southern states formed a new country called the Confederate States of America or, or the Confederacy. Good. Called the Confederate States. Very nice. Okay. In April 1861, Confederate soldiers fired on Union troops at Fort Sumner, South Carolina. The Civil War began. It lasted more than four years. Each side had certain advantages. The South had excellent generals and was motivated to fight. The North had railroads, raw materials, and a bigger population. At first, the South won several battles, but the North would not quit. In 1863, President Lincoln declared that all slaves in the conflict Confederate states were free. This was called the em Emancipation Proclamation. Good. It was Emancipation Proclamation. Good. And we want to say called here. We don't want to say called. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. 
Lincoln's announcement marked a turning point in the war. The Union began to win more and more battles under General Ulysses S. Grant. The war was over. By the end of the Civil War, more than 620,000 Americans had been killed. Okay, all right. What did you What did you understand from this page? Could you give me a little summary? Yeah, in this page, uh, it says that Civil War had start. Um, should I say started? North and South both had many advantages. Like North had many excellent generals, and mm -hmm. I know South mm -hmm. had excellent South generals. Had. Yeah. North had real roads, raw materials, mm -hmm. and many soldiers. So because as in the map, we can see that North land is very bigger than the South. So it has yeah. more population. Excellent. But it says that at the end, the North had won and the South has surrendered to the North. So it became one country. Fantastic. That is great. It stayed one country. And do you remember how many years the Civil War lasted? More than four years. Yeah. Wow. And did a lot of people die in the war? Yes. It's the 620,000 people died. Right. Yeah. My goodness. Wonderful. And did you do you have any questions about what uh, we read? I have a question in this text. In this text, it says that North had more. No, no, no. South had excellent generals. So in this, then what does general mean? So here, general um, refers to someone that's in charge of the military. So oh. the person that's plan planning how they're going to attack in the war. Um, so the general is just a title for someone in the military that's in charge. Okay. okay. I know it has it has uh, other meanings too to say general, right? So it can be a bit confusing. All right. Great. Okay. So let's do the questions at the bottom. The quick check. True yes. or false? Can you read the first one for us? Yes. The North and South both had highly developed industrial areas. False. That's right. So why why is that false? Because only North had developed industrial and South agricultural areas more. Fantastic. All right. What about number two? Abraham Lincoln was the president of Confederate States of America. True. Was he of the Confederate States or the Union? Oh, I think I was in confusion. Like Confederate States is the North. So mm -hmm. I think it will be false. Right. So which one is the North and which one is the South? The Do you Union remember? is the North and the Confederate States is the South. Good. And one way that you might want to use to remember that is that the North wanted to stay together as one yeah. country. And so the word Union means together. Okay, great. So the Confederates are the South and the Union is the North. All right. What about question three? Hundreds of thousands of Americans died. Americans died during the Civil War. True. Absolutely, six hundred and twenty thousand. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next page. We have the main idea and details. Okay. So the first question says, "What is the passage mainly about?" A. Slavery and Abraham Lincoln. B. Reasons for the Civil War and the process of the war. The C. The um, Emancipation Proclamation of the Con Confederacy. Very nice. There's a lot of big words in that one, isn't there? <laughs> okay, so do you know what the answer is? I think it will be B. Yes, I think you're right. Reasons for the Civil War and the process of the war. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about question two? The blank declared that all slaves in the Confederacy were free. A. Declaration of Independence. B. Gettysburg Address. Mm -hmm. C. An Emancipation Proclamation. Very nice. And what do you think the answer is? E. C. Emancipation Proclamation. Very good. Yes. All right. Let's look at number three. Can you read it for us? Yes. Which of the following was an advantage that the Confederacy had in the war? A. It had more raw materials than the North. B. It had many excellent generals. C. It had a large population of men. Good. And the Confederacy is the North or the South? South. Good. All right. So which one is the right answer? B. B. Excellent. It had many excellent generals. Yeah. Okay. And um, what about number four? What's the question there? What does fired on mean? A. Shot at. Shot at. B. Invaded. C. Took over. Okay. And what do you think the answer is? B. E. Invaded. Well, let's go back to our, so this one is highlighted. It says, in April 1861, Confederate soldiers fired on Union troops at Fort Sumner. So they fired on the Union troops. So I can see why you might think that that means invaded. But if you had to take a second guess, what do you think it would mean? Shot at. Yeah. yeah. So you fire a gun when you shoot it. Right. Yes. So they fired on them. They shot their shot their weapons at them. So okay. this sentence means that Confederate soldiers was shot at the Union. So the Union shot this Confederate state state soldiers. Um, I think it says Confederate soldiers fired on the Union troops. So that means the South shot at the Union troops. Oh, so it means that the war had started because the South had fired on the Union. Yeah, um, I think they were ready for battle there. And that, uh, that was the first... Thing that happened in the battle so they shot their cannons and their guns and then the war had um, officially started okay. okay it says to complete the sentences so what does a say some southerners grew tobacco and cotton on large plantation did you have that little letter on the end large plantations oh uh, we have to add f yeah, so we're talking um, about more than one plantation here. Yeah. And do you, can you tell me again what a plantation is? Do you know what that means? Yes, I know. Mm, it's kind of a type of agricultural. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's like saying a farm. It was a type of farm that they had. Um, okay, so we want to say they grew tobacco and cotton on large plantations because they had more than one. Mm. It, if it was just one, it would say on a large plantation. But okay. since there's no A there, we know it's plural. Ownership of slaves was a big reason why the Civil War occurred. 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 Yeah, that's good. Occurred. Occurred. Very nice. Very good. Okay. The Civil War ended when General Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. Perfect. Very nice. All right. You're doing really well, Judy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You always do really well. I'm, <laughs> never I'm always impressed, but never surprised. Let's look at our complete the outline bit. We have on the left reasons for the Civil War and on the right the process of the Civil War. Southern blank relied on slave labor. Good. But I don't know the answer. Okay. Well, we could um, we could probably use two different words here. We could either say Southern plantations relied on slave labor or Southern agriculture relied oh. on slave labor. Teacher, that what does relied it mean? What they 
Oh, relied on. That means that they um, they depended on or they counted upon. They needed something. They needed slave labor. Good question. Northerners believe slavery was wrong. Very good. Southerners thought that slavery was necessary. What does necessary mean? Do you know it, that word? Yes, I know they thought that it should be in need. Or that they did need it, right? Yeah. They thought that they couldn't do without it. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And the last one? Southerners wanted to wanted each state to decide to be free or legal state. I think what they want here is a free or a slave state. Oh, slave state. Oh, I yeah. think I wrote that. That's okay. Um, let's look on the right side, the process of the Civil War. Yes. And let's try the first one, please. Yes, the Union versus the Confederacy. Very nice. Okay. And the second point? Began in April 1861 at Fort Sum Sumter. Mm -hmm. The South won many battles at first. Good. Turning point and emancipation procla proclamation. Very good. The turning point was the emancipation proclamation. Okay. And can you read the last point for us there? Yes. Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9, 18, 1865. Good. Wonderful. Well, <laughs> I think it just class went by so fast today. Though yeah. I think we're all the time. <laughs> you did such a great job. Um, Thank you. And you did a really good job remembering what we read last time, which was a yeah. long time ago. And... Um, so next time we'll finish our vocabulary review and we can finish up the unit and uh, we'll have some reading to do to find yeah. out whether Scarlett and her sister run off to the, uh, the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Judy. I really appreciate it. You took <laughs> such a Okay. Yeah. Have a good night. See you on Thursday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.